Hey folks, this is my second series. I'm doing a front end rebuild on a 2012 Silverado. This is the guy right here, call him Bruce. Bushings are totally shot on the uppers. Lowers are a little bit loose. And you can see there's a lot that needs to be done. I put some new shocks on it. I did some of the, did the tie rods and the front linkage, uh, but you can see the brakes need doing. You can see the cracks in the, in the rotors here. So those need to be done. Uh, it is four wheel drive. Uh, I did start already. I figured if you're going this far into it, you probably know how to get the fender wells out, get the tires off. Uh, but a couple things you need to know before you do uh, anything else. And I'm, I'm at the stage where I did the second option. Uh, when you go to take off this bolt for the four wheel drive, uh, that's the axle, uh, you need something to hold it in place. So if you got it up in the air, there's not really much you can do except have someone press on the brakes. If you got a helper, you can have somebody press on the brake That'll keep it from spinning and then you can loosen it up. Uh, I tried 150 PSI on my compressor. That did not want to loosen it up. So I had my son get in the truck and we actually had to start it up and use the power brakes to hold it in place while I loosen up that nut. Uh, if you want to do it another way, um, you do have to take this dust cap off first. I'm using it to hold stuff. So that goes on there. That dust cap, uh, once you get that removed, if you want to put the tire back on and do it that way, you can do it that way too. You also will need to loosen up the bolts on the inside. Let's see if we can get in there and you can see them. And we need to loosen up those bolts, bolts too to get this axle out. And the axles I'm replacing, uh, they've got a little bit of play in them, but they're probably fine. Uh, but I figured since I'm in here, I'm going to do the axles. I'm also doing the hubs on the end as well. So um, with that started, those are the way you, ways you can get that done. Uh, I'm going to start taking some more stuff apart off of this thing, and uh, I'll check back with you uh, in a minute.